So we have been making these ornaments for years at Floodbrook, and we love doing it. The one thing you have to be careful of are the sharp edges. So pay attention, don't hurt yourself, and here's what you'll need. For this project, you will need a piece of tin that's been cut for you. It has a silver side and a gold side. You also need a pad of newspaper. That's not to protect the table, that's a pillow that makes your drawing work out better. So, I like to make it so that I color on the silver side. To do that, I put my drawing on the gold side. I turn it over, draw with my pencil, put this on a pad, draw, pressing down very hard. And what happens when you press down hard, it makes the design pop out on the other side. And after the design is all done, you can color it in with Sharpie. Remember, the edges are sharp. You wouldn't open up a pair of scissors and run your finger along the edge of those, so you shouldn't on this tin. Okay, so figure out a design you want. You might like a holiday design, or you might just like a traditional design. I think I am going with the traditional folk art design, which is a heart with a tree of life growing out of it. You can see how it's done. Watch and see what happens. Once your design is done, and color it in with Sharpie. And remember, you have to use Sharpie. Regular water-based markers would just rub off. So once it's all done, take a hole punch, put a hole in it, and make sure the hole is not too close to the edge, and you can just add a hanger, and it would make a very nice present for somebody. Maybe decorate an envelope, and make a collection to give to someone special. Have fun, take your time to do a really nice job. Bye.